This is the Camelus pocket block that I got at Cabela's. I don't remember for how much. And I painted the scales because at one time I was using a Sharpie to write down uh, information like a gas pump number or something. Um, some of these gas stations and quick trips have so many gas pumps that I sometimes forget where I'm at. So I thought it would be handy. Um, but uh, anyway, that's what this one is. Probably uh, Google it. It's it's a chunk, but it's got your basics: uh, screwdrivers, flathead, Phillips, uh, no can opener. And uh, the only real suggestion I would have for them is uh, no pocket clip, which is fine. Is on this uh, on this screwdriver to put a file on all this blank this is just blank steel so I feel like that was wasted opportunity but anyway that's uh, knife number one I'll probably be keeping this one just because I like it the aesthetics um, Camelus pocket block Not to be confused with the Gerber Pocket Square. Knife number two is the Spyderco Tenacious. And uh, it has not been used in a while, so I can no longer spidey flick or finger flick it. But anyway, um, yeah, I think I only have one of these. This is a keeper, though. So, but that's uh, knife number two. There's the Spyderco Tenacious. Knife number three is the Gerber Gator. Uh, this particular one, I have two. This particular one I picked up at Superflea in a TSA bin. And uh, I'm assuming it was well used, but you know, you never know. It did not come with a sheath. Let me open this bad boy up. But the serrations, you know, either they, probably they ground them down. But, you know, it's almost completely straight almost like a straight edge with a recurve but anyway it's a very durable knife um, very hefty and uh, yeah I don't like I've tried I don't like sheaths on my belt in fact all the fixed blades that I currently have they're small most of them are small but I end up just carrying in my uh, either on my carpenter loop, carpenter pants loop, or in my pocket. But yeah, this one I'll probably keep unless somebody I meet someone that wants it. So, but that's the uh, Gerber Gator for knife number three. So this bug knife was the <clears throat> was the first knife I bought after my hospital stay for my suicide attempt and I got it at Cabela's and I want to say it was around 50 bucks but I don't remember um, I carried it for a while and at that time I didn't like I like knives but I didn't really buy a lot of knives but this was the first one I bought I had gotten rid of all my previous knives including a Victorinox uh, I don't know the name of it. I don't want to say it was a larger one. It was with the one they issued the military, the U.S. military, I guess I was told, or I found out online. But uh, it, it was a, a larger Victorinox. Uh, had a really good saw on it. But um, all those knives are gone. But I bought this one, and 
I don't know the name of it. So it's got that. I just don't know the names of any of these things. It's got, like the spider codes have that recessed lock back so you don't squeeze it and unlock it, which I don't really think is necessary, but that's just me. So anyway, and it's got a lock and it's spring assisted. And uh, it's got a bigger handle than the blade, but it's it's a nice size blade for me, deep carry. So, anyway, this is knife number four, this buck. And the last knife is this Coast RX352. Um, it's very beefy. It's got a lock that works both in closed and open positions. It is spring assist. It does have just a little bit of up and down play. Not enough, well, especially for the price, which I don't remember. And I don't remember where I got this. I want to say Ace Hardware. But the serrations also don't take up, they take up less than half the blade. So, uh, not too bad. Um, you can lock it into a fixed blade position, style position, I should say. But, uh, yeah, now this one, I do like it, but I probably will be getting rid of it. Deep carry clip. So, there you go. Blade number five is the coast.